Lynn Luker is a Republican lawmaker in Idaho who fears that one day in some dark future world, a police officer may be forced to render services to a gay person, even though helping that person would go against the police officer's deeply held religious beliefs slash bigotry. This, of course, was portrayed in Aldous Huxley's famous dystopian novel, Gay New World. So Luker has introduced a bill that would make it okay for police officers and also medical personnel to discriminate against people who are LGBT. Uh, This, of course, does close up a loophole in the existing Idaho law that makes it okay for medical personnel to deny women access to basic health care and also sometimes life-saving health care like abortions and contraception. So under the current law, a woman who did want access to basic health care could, say, undergo years of Uh, therapy and hormone treatments and surgeries and gads of governmental red tape in order to be recognized by Idaho as a man and therefore be able to receive basic health care. But Luker has introduced a bill that would essentially close that loophole and allow both medical personnel and police officers to continue discriminating against that hypothetical person. So thanks to Representative Luker, only men who are born men who don't love men can be guaranteed access to basic medical care. As a next step, Idaho lawmakers hope to introduce a similar bill that would allow poll workers to discriminate against anyone they feel would be violating their deeply held religious convictions. For instance, for many poll workers, it might be against their religion to hand a ballot to someone who would then use that ballot to vote for someone that might give women and gays equal rights under the law. So under this new law, those poll workers would be allowed to turn away those voters Once this law is in place, then Representative Luger could enjoy a a long and successful career in the state Senate until a few years down the line, of course, when he's discovered giving a reach around to his undocumented pool boy, uh, at which point he would probably be put to death under his own ordinance that called for a death penalty for the gays. Rest in peace, Representative Luger.